Hola guys and girls and welcome to week 6 of the GBA we are facing on against John aka Pokemon aka coach of the New Orleans Pelipers and this is a very scary opponent he is currently in a, a three way win streak he is 4 and 0 in general we are 3 and 2 we just came out from a loss versus Geo thank god only a small loss but John is on fire at the moment so I'm yeah I'm trying my best here to get him again coming back into the in the playoff race like you probably know the division blue on the counter side which is my division is the closest overall we have two te three teams which are three and two and one which is two and three so basically if i lose again the hopes for getting into a good playoff spot being the first or the second place are pretty yeah getting smaller and smaller and i don't want that sadly we are facing off against john in our uh, off division match but yeah he has a pretty good matchup but if you want to see um, in general all my uh, team building process i of course made a team builder video link will be in the description there you can see basically my team my uh, thoughts about his team what are his biggest threats what are my biggest threats what my plan is to win this game and so on and so on but first of the usual shout outs first up shout out of course to Isaac and Kino for the amazing afterwards video Kino responsible for the layout and Isaac of course for the beautiful thumbnail then we got Juan for, uh, from the PPL recording this match link of this will be description like I said he's in PPL PPL is another league based uh, draft draft based league league basically and yeah if you are if your GBA is not enough for you best definitely check it out one thing description he is participating in that and yeah you can enjoy these matches and as last um, shout out to blue and alpha and Slyro. this time there are two people which gent my teams because I had a change of mind for three of my mons or uh, little cha little changes these and stuff so I had to regen three months so that this time two geners and thanks to both of them though the beautiful team which will I hopefully crush the new Orleans peppers today but yeah that's that's all the stuff at the beginning let's dig right into team preview first up for going over my team for all which did not watch my team builder or didn't have the patience to watch it or whatever you can it's, it's a legit, if you have a legitimate reason to not watch it um, yeah that's for you basically now first up I got assault this is with power up punch waterfall actor and player of a uh, mixed offensive absol with Sucker Punch, Knock Off, uh, Pursuit and Ice Beam, Assault at Tangrove with Poison Jab, uh, Giga Drain, Earthquake and Evil Ace, um, Life, Orb, um, Life Orb Shear for Struck Polish Landers with Earth Power, Sludge Wave and Knock Off, and Physical Defensive Lux Rift Intimidate and Toxic Crunch, Fire Fang and Volt Switch. And as last, specially offensive uh, Cobalion with Flash Cannon, Hidden Power Fire, Magnet Rise and Stealth Rock. That's my team. Looking at his team, there are two things which I noticed. The most, the biggest basic thing is no Chandelure. And I was so happy to not see Chandelure because Chandelure, like if, if you watch for Team Builder, was pretty scary. It, I would have to need to predict around that and hopefully to travel it with Absol. But yeah, no Chandelure, I'm happy about that. He brought the Pinoswine, which I was not really expecting. I was thinking probably bring Dawnfan, but Pinoswine makes sense because the Ice Shot priority. Of course, Dawnfan gets it too, but Pinoswine has, of course, the stab and he has a stronger Ice Shot uh, than Dawnfan. And yeah, seeing no Dawn fan, basically his only uh, um, hazard move option is the scissor. And I like if if scissor really has defog, then it has one move uh, more, one move less, be it roost, be it sword sense, be it a covered move of, of whatever. This makes it very much less of a threat. And if he doesn't have defog, this just means if I get my rocks out early, they are there to stay. Basically on my side too, but uh, yeah. I want to make my plan is to want to get rocks early. He probably will think the same because I have no hazard removal on my side, and John emphasizes a lot getting his rocks up early. So my prediction for his lead is either the Raikou for some Volt Switch shenanigans, um, um, pro, um, blow up initiative basically, or the uh, Pilot Swine to get up rocks early. So I lead off with my Azumarill because, uh, and for Raikou I have a pretty safe switch into my Assault with Tangrowth, which can take any hit. Like Hidden Power Ice is not even a two hit KO, and. Yeah, and I can scare out the pilots by not allowing him to get rocks. And Azumarill is not that important that match, seeing that he doesn't have High Dragon nor the Chandelure. So I can afford it to let it take some damage to get some big damage on his his mons. So I just lead off with Azumarill, trying to hit his mons as hard as possible, scare out the pilots by and basically not allowing rocks. So let's see what he leads up with, if my plan was correct. But yeah, John is issuing the challenge right now, and we go right into the match. He leads, like a predict, with Pilot Swine, or kind of predict, because I had two options. But yeah, I leave Swinus I scare him out, or just go for a safe waterfall. He has not really something which really wants to take it. Of course, he has the Rizion, but if I go for Player of Fear, Rizion just drops dead, so I don't expect him to pull that switch. He switches out into his Floor and looking at the damage, there's definitely a kind of physical defensive Floor like 
not fully special. I wouldn't, I was of course in this kind of mixed set, but yeah, he doesn't take the two well, but it's not two hit KO. Player off is looking like a two hit KO, but with leftovers he may just wish stall. Okay, he reveals the protect, and I just go for a second waterfall. Because I want some damage on this thing, player off wouldn't have killed from this range either way, so two waterfalls or one waterfall and one playoff would have been the play, and maybe I can bluff the choice band if he didn't cut the damage, but yeah, he just goes to save wish, I go for play rough right here, going, hopefully getting the most damage possible on him, and now I predict him to go for the protect, because he basically needs his logic to get his health back, and I take that switch into my Gowal, I could have stayed in here just repeatedly going for players and stuff and wearing him down, but I, like I said, I want to get my rocks up as soon as possible, so I predict the protector here, go into my Gowalio and basically scare him out, because an iron head will do massive damage to this if I'm physical, which I'm not in this case, but he probably thinks I'm physical, and this is an opportunity for me to get up my rocks versus this thing, and yeah, I click rocks, hopefully he will switch out, he doesn't really have anything to hit me, but maybe barring a hidden power fire or something like that, which I don't think he has. He has strong protect and wish, so probably more defensive set. He goes into Blobby the Uniclus, and yeah, I just get up my rocks here. Um, I was predicting the Focus Blast right here, or yeah, basically the Focus Blast here, so I go into my Tangrowth because this Hopeless that can take any hit. It has pretty good defensive still, so I can take uh, even the Psychic on this thing. I go into my Tangrowth, and he indeed, he goes for, not for the Focus Blast, he goes for the Psychic, which will do a, a little chunk that I can just regenerate with attack, so it's not that scary. And here I switch out uh, predicting an HP Ice of some sort, because I last in my, if you look at my team builder, I uh, was predicting uh, a kind of a unit just to handle my Landris, but he switched out, so this thing's, this was a sign for me, and he probably has nothing to hit my Tangle, maybe, or uh, he was just feeling the knockoff too much and stuff. But yeah, I got my Azumarill again, again versus, uh, <laughs> versus the Flourges, and here we go again, this time I got my Rocks already up, so I don't need to put the doubles. So yeah, I, this is just a 1v1 match between Florges and, and Azumarill, the two fairies clashing each other, I just go for the ball, he goes for protect to get more leftovers recovery, which is fine. And yeah, I'm basically saving PP on play rough, and yeah, he goes for wish, I go for play rough, I don't kill him. He goes for protect again, I go for waterfall, and yeah, spoilers, all of it, but yeah, let's look how this played out, I go for play rough, I don't kill him. Some leftovers, he goes for break. this is not, not a very exciting part of the match, but I'm just trying, because Player of does more than Wish and Leftovers, at least it seems to me like that, and the Kalk said so that Player of would do more than 50% even with Leftovers, but yeah, Waterfall, and crack itself again, there's the Wish, and yeah, this is going way too slow for me, so I was predicting him to go for Wish here again, so I can hit him with a move, and like I like saw, I have Power Punch, so I will go for that now. He decides to attack me, not going for the wish, okay, so I don't know if he predicted me here to go for a switch or something like that. But yeah, he gets a crit, which is um, unfortunate, but spoilers, there will be a lot of crits, so I'm not here to complain about those. I get my attack brace, and now Waterfalls and Playdross will definitely be able to 2-hit all this thing, even with Protect Wish and Hangings. He goes for Protect here. I just go for the, I will go for Player for Waterfall, I don't, I mean, it doesn't really matter, he goes for Protect, yeah, I go for play rough. and... Yeah, player off can kill from his range, but I can get him pretty low because of the plus one boost and stuff. So I go just for the player off. He just go for his, goes for a second moon blast, which brings me down to a, about 50 HP, and I can still take some hits. I go for the player off, and there it is. There it is. The return crit, like I said, I am um, that mattered. I card that mattered. Um, it do, didn't matter too long in this one v one matchup because I would have won that either way because of the plus one boost. But he wouldn't be would have been able to get some more damage on my Azumarill, which definitely matter, will matter in the long run. But yeah, he goes into Revision. I switch out with my Azumarill into my uh, Tangrowth because I can take any hit. I don't know yet if it's physical or special, but I can take any hit of Tangrowth. He goes in Energy Ball. I can shoot that like nothing. And here I was really debating: do I make the double switch, predicting the um, the Reuniclus, or do I just go for safe Eren Ace? And I didn't felt that, that the ball play was worth it here, so I go for Eren Ace. It sadly didn't pay off. Uh, and I was feeling very bad, uh, because Aerial Ace doesn't do anything to this thing. I revealed the Aerial Ace, which could have been handy earlier to get just an Oko versus this thing. But yeah, here I feel ballsy, because I knew he'd probably go for Psychic or switch out like he did last time. I go into my Mega Emo, um, trying to pursue trap this thing, because uh, he may have the call very bad. I can, I, will, I would have gone for knockoff here, but he has Signal Beam. I, I, know, I knew Runicus has Signal Beam, but I just didn't... I don't... He gets a crit here, which didn't really matter. It was like a 50-50 roll he would kill me, and... Yeah, I'm not complaining, I got the huge gift versus Lordis, and damn it, why didn't I thought of Signal Beam? I'm so dumb. I just thought he had nothing to hit me barring like an HP Ice, so my my prediction was Psychic, HP Ice, or Switch out, so I can take any of the Psychic and HP Ice, and basically, or, or get my Mega Evolution for, uh, for free on the Switch. 
So, but yeah, he goes into this thing now. I, I can, I can, I want to toxic reduce his because, like you see, he has regenerator. He got damage from rocks. I didn't even go for it now, but uh, he is magic out. I go for toxic because I want to wear this thing down because now that mega emo is gone, I have very, I'm, I have troubles to get this reduce down with regenerator and stuff. I get the taxi on the Palos mine. I predict an uh, ice move, ice move or rocks here. So I go into my Cabra because. If the earthquake was way too obvious. I have Landorus, I have Tango to switch in. Both are hit very hard from Ice Age, so I did not expect him to go for the just the obvious earthquake. So this would pays out if it was about the earthquake here. It would have been pretty bad, but like I said, I was expecting rocks or something like that. Here I expect him to go for the EQ because he still doesn't know if I'm physical or special, and probably I'm physical and close combat wouldn't kill the Zonus Range if he's the the standard tank set that is with the violet stuff. So I go for the safe Megan Rise here, but yeah, he doesn't want to take any of this damage. He still wants his spider spine around for ice shot priority and Seraphrox priority potentially. So I go for just one Megan Rise. He switched up to, uh, to uh, his Reunion Kill switch. He is switching around a lot. It's <laughs> it, after Meshi told me it was basically a switch into everything, which is basically true now that Mega Absol is uh, gone and I have troubles getting this Reunion Kill down. So I switch into my uh, Tank Roof because I can take any hit from this thing still. he would probably go for Psychic right here. Or oh, Focus Blast. He goes for Psychic. I'm still thinking, does he even have Focus Blast? Because if he has Signal Beam, the only thing he would need Focus Blast for would probably be Cobalion. And yeah. Single, uh, Psychic still does a good amount. I get a crit Giga Drain here because I was all oh, running well. That, that's a lot of damage to ring this, but yeah, that was a crit. Uh, not not too much uh, of a problem, but yeah, they will add up. They Let's just say they will add up. I go for another Giga Drain because I can just regenerate her back. There's this thing I click on Mega Drain. This time it's not a crit, I can regenerate some back. He predicts a switch out here from my side and goes to a Psychic. And. Yeah, now I'm. I was thinking he will probably switch out, so I can switch out too. I can regenerate. He will either go for a psychic here, uh, wait for a single beam, or switch out. So I can get a free switch into my landers and hit something hard with an earth power because even Virizion won't enjoy too much. I already saw that is life orb, so it's not a defensive set. So earth power will do a lot to this thing. He brings out into his scissor, and yeah, I just go for the safe earth power. He doesn't want to take this with uh, the scissor. It's still very good with my team, and yeah, he goes into Virizion. The only thing which can resist my earth power, but. Like you can see, I get a huge hit of this, not only because Landorus is so strong with Life of Chief or Stab Earth Power, but because I get another crit. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel better about those, I get so much crit, it's not even funny. Uh, he, he got some nice crits in the battles before, but this is basically the, I'm basically paying him back from all the other people, but, and it's not feeling too good. I would have, I would have preferred a, a Hexless game, but what can you do? He goes for the HP Ice here, and I can go to my Spetzel because that's basically my best switch into this thing. And yeah, I want to switch out because I, I don't want to take another HP Ice, I still need this thing healthy for the Raikou, so I go into my Azumar, which can easily take this HP Ice, but he picks the switch out, goes to Focus Blast and misses! Oh, that's so sad. I would have lifted Ness and killed him with Aqua Jet, but in combination with the Flourgeous Squid, like, if this would hit and I wouldn't have gotten the crit on Flourgeous, Azumar would have basically been dead right now, so... Uh, all these, they're not really deciding things, because I wouldn't lift the hit, but if they add up, they add up, and that's, it's feel, <laughs> I feel very terrible for that. But yeah, he goes into this thing, uh, I don't want to take a bullet punch from him, so I just go into my Lux Ray, which is my designated switch to this, getting the Intimidate off, I do this bullet punch, obviously, and stuff. He takes his time to Maggie you off, and just goes to Ruse, because he does, basically, maybe you was thinking I would go for Waterfall, and just wants to, wants to have, have his scissor healthy. But yeah, he goes for Roost, um, I just go straight for the Fire Fang here, I think. Yeah, I, I think I go straight for the Fire Fang and he switches out into Reuniclus. Let's see if I'm right. I think I'm right. Last time, yeah. He just goes into Reuniclus. Yeah, right. He goes into Reuniclus, I just go for this uh, safe Fire Fang because that was the coverage I had for Scissor. He gets Rock damage. Fire Fang won't do anything because Reuniclus is way too bulky and it's, it's a pain. Reuniclus is a pain, yes, at the moment, so that, that I lost... Uh, that I lost my Luxray. I don't want to take a Psychic to the face, I still need to sing, so I go back into my Spätzle. He probably predicted me to go for the Volt Switch or some kind of uh, electrical move because he goes into his Pylos Mine, and that's a pretty pretty decent matchup for me. But I don't want. To, yeah, I can I can still take an, uh, an Icy Crash from this range, I can just go for G Giga Drain right here, which I will do. He sees that. Oh wait, he just switches back into his, uh, into his Raikou as a, 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 a loop. I'm losing my train of thought here. He switched into his Raikou, basically. I, he can, you know he can take a Giga Drain, but... He probably expected me to switch out into something, not wanting to take the Ice Attack, because, like... Tangrove is my is my thing to handle Raikou, so I'm happy with that switch. He, I, I think he predicted some kind of switch here. I did not talk about him about that. But yeah, he goes for the World Switch here. I just go for another Giga Drain. 
Uh, no, no, wait, I know we have an Earthquake here because Geodrain won't kill Earthquake will in case he tries to go for HP I, so I just go for safe Earthquake here. He switched out into his Blobby, which is his switch into everything, and I I just I just want this thing gone. I just want this thing gone so bad. Really, this is such a problem at the moment, I can't even imagine how, how much I was struggling to, to find a way to get this thing down, because the only thing I have to hit this super factory is the crunch of Luxray and the knockoff of Landorus. And both won't 2 hit KO. Oh, a, a knockoff won't 2 hit KO after the item is gone, basically. And crunch won't either way. I guess I'll go for Gear Rank. I get enough crit on the Rear because the tank is. I trained the mountains very well, it seems. He goes a single, he gets, gets damage off. He, I, uh, he doesn't want to take another Giga Drain. He needs to regenerate that mech. I just go for his Giga Drain again. He switched out into his uh, Scissor, breaking the Giga Drain. Very nice, takes basically nothing from this. And this time he saw that Luxray is my switch in, so I expected a U turn on this. Uh, and basically, I expected a U turn here because U turn would have a huge damage on the tank growth, he would have gotten out because of stats and stuff. So I go into my Kamaleon here to take the U turn because I crush resist that. But he goes for the Bug Bite. The, basically showing, he's basically showing a Roost and Bug Bite so far. He will have Bullet Punch, and the last move is either Defog or Sword Sense or Super Power. So I just go into Cabra right here and I click the HP Fire button because I am in a very good position. I can just play it safe, go the HP Fire. It does not kill, but he, he roosts here probably scouting if I have the HP Fire or not because he knew he could take it. But yeah, uh, basically he can stay in here and I click actually him to switch out here and go for the Flash Cannon on anything that wants to switch in. Because yeah, he can't he can't stay in. He can't roost on me. And if he if he goes for one, at one point for super power, his his uh, mega scissor will be dead. That's basically his biggest win condition, and at least in my opinion, it is because he didn't know that I have fire fang on my uh, lux ray yet. But yeah, I just go for the flash cannon. Get a good damage on the blobby again. I can't this thing allow to regenerate her too much health back because like I said, this was such a pain in this game. <laughs> yeah, after, after I lost Absol so bad and so slowly, and now this thing is a pain. But yeah, I go just go for the uh, another flash cannon to get some good damage on this. I can take a psychic. I'm starting to think he probably doesn't have focus blast because he never go for it so far. So I just go for flash cannon and get some good damage on the Blitzkrieg, the Eraiko. Nice nickname, by the way. <laughs> I love the fuck up in the name for all the German out there. But yeah, I go flash cannon. I get a special defense drop, which actually didn't don't will, won't matter because I definitely won't stay in. He's shiny. He may have uh, aura sphere. But yeah, I have a switch into this thing, which is my Spätzle. He predicts the switch in very nicely and goes for a toxic, toxic, and yeah, my special is toxic. And now this thing, Raiko may get a threat. I have to switch my special around very much so the toxic damage won't add up and I can regenerate everything back. But yeah, I switch out here. I predict a wolf switch now from him, so I go into my Landorus, and I know he will go for HP Ice there, so I can go into my Azumarill after that, basically pivoting this thing around so I can get my Azumarill in because he is in range of Aqua Jet, and I can take an HP Ice with Azumarill very easily. So that works out very fine. Like if he would have gone for HPIs or <laughs> Volt Switch at some point in this in this pivoting around, I would it would have been in a bad position. But everything worked perfect out of this uh, switching. I wanted to take have a zoom a bit in this thing. I can just go for the safe Aqua Jet. Like even if you switch out into something, he doesn't really have anything that enjoys taking it. So I just go for safe Aqua Jet. Uh, John Lynch gets rock damage. He gets worn down. I I just go for Aqua Jet. I predict a roost right here from him or a bullet punch because a bullet punch would kill me and roost to give him back to a good amount of HP. So again, just safely go into my Lux Bay again, get intimidated enough, and scam out with the ice with the uh, fire fang again. So yeah, he decides to go for roost because he wants his Mega Scissor healthy, which is a smart choice because bullet punch would have done nothing. <laughs> But yeah, uh, this time I predict the switch out into the Rune Kiss and go straight for the Crunch. I know he won't stay in, he already saw that I have the Fire Fang. And there's Blobby, I go for the Crunch and I get some good damage on this thing. There's Rock's damage of course, and Blobby, he's, 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 he's getting slowly, slowly worn out. Slowly worn out. Every time he's, he switches out and again, he's lower than before, I can go for a Crunch. And yeah, I just go for the safe second Crunch in case he... Um, does something weird, and uh, there's the pilot's mine, and get some rock damage. I go with second crunch, hoping to kill the Runicus, but no, John is too smart to. He, he preserves his Runicus. I go for the crunch here, get some good damage on the pilot's mine because I get another crit. And yeah, they, that, that's really not, again, not a really designing a crit, but they add up. They add up, and I'm fe starting to feel bad. Like the big crit versus Roach is barely matter, but all these other, they add up. They add up. They, they just more salt into the wound. He got, here I predict an earthquake him because he would, I thought he would die to toxic and probably was, was the most damage out he can get. So I go into my uh, Tangrove, he goes to rocks, very good play on his part, just trying to get the rocks up. But here he actually lists the toxic damage and I predict him to go for an ice move and I don't want to stay in go for Giga Drain because I'm the minus speed nature and if I'm, we, you, we have both base 50 speed so he will outspeed me. 
I, he doesn't, doesn't want to risk it that he will not outspeed me. He goes first, goes the ice shot. I predict some kind of ice move, be it icy crash or the ice shot. Kawhi can take everything, and Pinus Wine goes down to the Toxic. And this means his best priority for my. Uh, for my what you call Landorus is basically gone, so if I get a rock polish up, I basically win at this point. The only problem is that I have to get it up. I can't really get it up with Reunitus because I don't know if I can take a psychic and a bullet punch. If I get uh, Landorus in versus the uh, scissor, I can basically I can switch out and I can get a rock polish up and basically win, but no. I get just go for the flash cannon right here. Wanting to get damage on this thing. Because Unicus, you are such a problem. He goes for the psychic here and yeah, this does way too much because I'm not a defensive set, I have some HP in this one, but Kawaii is pretty good defense set, but not so good special defense set. I just, and yeah, I just I predict him here to switch out into his Raikou to take the flash cannon and scare me out again, get regenerator with Reunixus back. But he seems to he wants he wants only to sack uh, Reunixus right here because he deals with psychic on my Zumo switch in. Because I would have scared out the uh, um, Raikou obviously again with the Aqua Jet, and now I need to preserve my Tangrowth very very healthy because I lost my basically my offensive check to uh, Raikou because he outspeeds my whole team now. And only have my defensive check and tank roof left, but he's at full health, so I'm still looking fine. I still, yeah, just go back into car, but he go for flash cannon, and yeah, like I, like I said, he would probably want to sack. But I go for flash cannon, kill this thing, and yeah, he goes into the um, Raikou right now because yeah, so he can't go into Scissor. I have HP fire. Of course, he will go into Raikou, and he already saw the HP fire, so he goes into Blitzcrack, takes another round of rocks damage, and I, just, I like I said, I have my check to this, which is my. Uh, which is my Tangrowth, no need to overpredict in any way at the moment. I could predict the... Like, I can't even take a World Switch, so I, I, I had to switch in Tangrowth at this point. <laughs> so I just go into Spatzler right here, take the World Switch like a boss. He indeed goes to World Switch, so... And yeah, he goes into his Scissor. I don't have HP Fire at this point, he, he probably saw that because I was switching out versus his Scissor and stuff. But yeah, he goes to World Switch and... He probably, like, um, I already know uh, this whole moveset of the scissor barring one move, which is either Sword Stance, Roost, or Superpower. Like, I will switch out this thing because I still have my Luxray as my best check to this thing. He did not show, like, he doesn't have anything to hit Luxray, to kill Luxray from full, basically, which it, it, at the moment I can get an Intimidate up. And yeah, he reveals the last move now, which is the. The Rule of Drum Roll, he has the Intimidate, God damn it! don't let me drum roll this much, I drum roll more, and he has the Salt Stance. This is the last move he has, he only has Bug Bite and Bullet Punch as his two offensive moves, which basically means that if, if he doesn't get too many Salt Stances up, my um, Cobalion can wall and go for the HP Fire, so, and, but yeah, I can take any hit from this, even the Bug Bite, I go for the Fire Fang, and I miss. This is some some kind of return hex, I mean, I still got the more hex in my favor, but basically if I miss another, another Fire Fang now, this means John Lynch will clean up because Kobano can only take one bullet run from the range he's at and one HP fire won't kill. But Luxray is pulling through, hits at least the one fire fang he needs to. He goes for a bug bite and kills me, and that's basically GG. It, only if there's some weird crits and rolls happen, I see John winning here because I still have my Kobalion. I can, I will outspeed him. Bullet punch won't kill me from this range. I'm still way too healthy, and yeah, the Raikou is way too low. I can just switch into my Tiger of once it's once it's in and kill it with basically anything. And yeah, good game, John. Good game, John. There's a lot of a lot of crits happened here, and I feel very sorry for that. There was basically there was only one deciding crit, but they added up. Like I said in the match, like all oh, the that Azuma lived so long that it did. It shouldn't have been able to. Like I scared out many, many monsters, his and yeah, I would have like this is a this is a competitive. I feel bad for that, but I won't I won't say sorry for the crits. This is a competitive league, and I take every hex I can get. Like if you get hexes with you, it's good for you, won't bad for you. But if you get hex with you, you are, you're basically you're it's competitive. If you get, if you get lucky, you get lucky, and you take. I take that. I take that. I won't say sorry. So, but I but because John is a good friend, I would have of course enjoyed a, a hex this game. But yeah, this is basically a free or win. For the Borussia Dawn fan, because yeah, like I said, he goes for Volt Switch, he goes for um, for Volt, he goes for not no Volt Switch, he goes for HBI. I can take that. Go for Earthquake, and this is the game. And this means we have a free O win versus the New Old Pelopers. Like I said, we <laughs> finally we were able to break his win streak. John was on fire, but we were the fire extinguisher at this point, and I already sorry for that pun. Ugh, that was bad. That was very bad, but yeah, this, let's look at teams. But yeah, now we are we are four and two again. We are up there with the other guys. Depending on how they play, we may end up in the first spot in the division again. But yeah, three O is a very big, a very big win with such an amazing player like Jonas. He is around since season two. Like I said, he was the guy 
which basically made me follow the GBA back in season two, where I started watching videos and stuff, and made me fall in love with the league format. And now I had a great honor of battling him and even winning with him. And yeah, I feel very happy about that. I still, um, I would have enjoyed, of course, a hexless game, but. This is a game we decided to play and yeah, like I said, I won't feel sorry. This is a very competitive league and I take every like every option which makes me win more is an option I take because otherwise um, I don't think you can survive in this in this game. Uh, I mean this kinda kinda the not time storing this is you speaks against that, but that is another case. That's another case. Hex is something else. But yeah, I started to ramble. Uh, I will leave John's link in the description. He just started a new channel. He's like about 2k subs, I think. I think it's 2K, but, but yeah, he, he started a new channel because he was not feeling comfortable with his old one, so definitely check this new channel out. He has some amazing content that I enjoyed uh, a much, a uh, much, yeah, I enjoyed much, a much, a uh, much, not a very much, a uh, much, I mean, let's start to ramble again. Like I said, check his channel out, he started a new one, so he, he can need all, he, he can uh, take all the love he can get from other people, but yeah, that's all from me. Uh, the words are Dolphin is back on track again, <laughs> like we lose, win, lose, win, and yeah, hopefully we can start a new winning streak at some point. I will definitely work for that. Next week we are facing off versus um, Crimson Seabed and, and his team with Mega Child X, which I don't fancy to face against, but yeah, we will see how that works out next week. This was with John, a very good win, very good game from John, definitely give him, give him a look in the, in, back in the channels, and yeah, that's all from me. If you liked what I saw, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know the deal of the MDM videos, hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the links in the descriptions, and I will see you next time. Ciao.